In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the capabilities of the advanced Fees app on a CloverFlex device. Um, so first, I would like to kind of say that uh, in order for advanced fee to function fully uh, and all of its features uh, to be enabled, you have to have enough functionality on the Clover device itself. And the best way to check that is if you go into the Setup app, right? And in the Setup app, what you want to have uh, is called Additional Charges. It'll be above uh, Taxes and Fees and below Payment Receipts, right? And it's called Additional Charges. And when you have this enabled, here you can choose the percentage. I have it turned on for 5%. And then here you can choose the name of the fee, right? So I have it entered as large party fee, for example. So this is part of the Clover native functionality. And if you have the right plan, then you have this functionality. And that's great. So that gets you at least uh, halfway there. But Clover does not trigger this fee in any way. So the only way that you can have this fee applied in the order without our app is by manually adding it uh, on every order. So with the advanced fees then, let me go ahead and delete this here. And I'm gonna add a new fee, right? And so we have ability to express fees either in a percentage or amount. We can uh, express them on the item level or order level, right? And then we have the triggers that are always conditional or, or conditional, right? So um, because we wanna do order level and percentage, as soon as we choose that, we're going to go and leverage what Clover has. And because of this, you see, we're picking up the name, right? Large party fee and a 5%. And it's not possible to edit it here. You have to go through the setup to do it there. But what our app does is it allows you to either always trigger this fee or conditionally trigger this fee. So let's go ahead and uh, just change this from item to order like that. Right, mm, don't need that. And then go ahead and save. All right, so now we have this saved, and I'm gonna open the register app and finish whatever transaction I had. Um, and so first, I'm gonna try, you know, this bike here, which is 500 bucks, and it's gonna say, "Hey, do you want to add the fee?" I'm gonna say yes. So $25 fee is added. Now I'm going to show you how custom item works, right? So this is a custom item. It's not even part of inventory. And you can simply add this item like that. And, you know, it also adds. And right there, it's in the, uh, and if you would review order, you know, the 10 cents of it is added uh, to the fee uh, out of $2. And so that's basically how the fee gets added automatically you know with the question uh, so the question only asked once per order and once you said yes then all the consecutive items will kind of function that same way you know here's another item um, you review it you know it also has picked up some large party fees and then you can remove that fee like that and you can add it back like that you know if needed um, so that's also there and that's kind of how that works. Now, if you don't have, you know, I'm just going to finish paying here. If you go back to your Clover, right, setup, and if you don't have this additional charges as an option, then in, in our app, you know, edit, um, uh, this particular setup, a fee that's expressed in percentage and on the order level would not be accessible to you, uh, but you'd be able to use something like this, percentage 5% expressed on items. But then the trouble with this particular setup is that it will ask you on every item you scan in, it'll ask you. Um, so, but that's kind of the functionality. I hope this helps.